Welcome to the Samson 3730 uh, uh, digital positioner uh, configuration video. My name is David Dixon. I'm with AC Controls and I'll be uh, walking you through a step-by-step -step procedure for a quick and easy method of configuring the positioner. Uh, the purpose of the video is to provide you with a quick and easy method of configuring the positioner on a control valve. Uh, the positioner is available for use on other manufacturers control valve, both uh, globe style control valves and rotary style control valves. The positioner uh, here is going to be a standard 4 to 20 milliamp positioner. Uh, it is also available as a heart positioner uh, Profi bus, uh, foundation field bus uh, versions. It has some flexibility as far as uh, being able to add limit switches within the positioner, uh, solenoid power, transmitter power, etc. So let's get started on the uh, configuration. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do, uh, you'll need to be able to provide a uh, power supply 4 to 20 milliamps to the positioner. They would go to terminals 11 and 12 on the board. You also need an air supply. The air supply needs to be greater than the spring range of the valve or actuator. That information can be found on the metal tag on the actuator. Uh, in this case the spring range uh, we're working within is 3 to 15 pounds uh, so our air supply would need to be greater than that. However, uh, in most cases uh, you don't need to be uh, concerned with the air supply other than the fact that the actuators and positioners cannot handle over uh, a 90 PSI supply. So for example, we have 15 PSI uh, spring range. If we have 40 pounds of air, then that's above the range and uh, uh, lower than the limit uh, or the maximum air supply that the positioner can handle. So once you've got your uh, air supply hooked up, and uh, your milliamp signal, uh, the positioner will go through a self-diagnostics. Um, once it goes through its, its self-diagnostics, then you're ready for uh, configuration. And this can be done uh, through uh, what we call a rotary push button. First off, on the positioner you will see your terminal board, your display, there's a serial interface connection, there is a air to open or air to close switch which you will need to move to the proper position based on uh, your fail position of your valve. Uh, once you've done that then you are ready to start configuration. With the positioner you will receive uh, an operations manual and uh, it's going to be very thick with a lot of information on it. Also you will receive a uh, quick startup guide which we highly recommend that you use the quick startup guide. It's a one page uh, guideline and that's what we'll use today um, which allows you a, uh, the best uh, success for setting up the uh, positioner. So we'll get started. Okay, now that the positioner has gone through its self-test and everything seems to be working properly, we can now start the uh, configuration for the control valve that we're working with. In the upper right hand corner of the display you'll see a code number. Right now it is on uh, zero. To change this we use this rotary push button. 
the first uh, code we should go to is code number three. You will press the button. When it starts flashing, then we will turn the uh, rotary button again. Uh, we are to turn it to yes. Pressing it again acknowledges this selection. Our next code is going to be 36. So we turn our rotary button to code 36 and we press. We want this is our uh, default and we want to change this to standard and acknowledge. Our next code will be code four. Once we get to code four, we press. This is going to be the setting for the positioner arm located on the back of the positioner. And depending on the type of valve, it's where the pin goes to match the valve stroke that you need. In this case, we're instructed to go to pin position 35. Next, we go to code 5, which is that same information that I mentioned about the uh, valve stem travel. And in this case, it's 15 millimeters stem travel. Uh, you do have different selections and that is adjustable if you were using on a different valve or a different product. So we'll acknowledge the 15 millimeters. Um, our next code is code 6. We press code 6. Uh, this is the travel distance that we want the actuator uh, and we've set it up for 15 millimeters, uh, which is going to be, in this case, uh, we set under nominal travel. We press again to acknowledge. And at this point, we've done all the configuration that we need. There is a button right here, which is our initialization button. You need a, a small pin or something that can fit into a real small hole paper clip or something and you would come in here and press and the positioner will go through a complete range of the valve 4 milliamps 20 milliamps and and different pressure ranges to calibrate as it's calibrating, there's a bar located on the display that shows you your progress. And uh, this will take a couple minutes, uh, maybe, to go through the whole process. Okay, when you uh, go through this initialization procedure, it could take several minutes before it completes that. So, um, don't get impatient, just uh, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, now we've uh, completed the configuration of the Samson 3730 positioner. There's a round circle at the top middle portion of the display, which indicates that it has been configured properly. Uh, with no problems. It also indicates that it's been configured before. So this is good to know if you were to uh, try to configure one, put it in your storeroom and have it ready for a valve when, uh, when the time comes. You would still need to go through this quick startup guide just to make sure all your parameters are correct again. Um, you've successfully now completed the configuration of the 3730 positioner. Um, if you do need technical assistance or run into any problems, please call us at AC Controls. Uh, we have people uh, 
uh, that can assist you with uh, the setup procedure and any uh, technical problems you may have. Thank you and thank you for using Samson products.